don't see him, but okay. I got got it recorded. Okay, great. Um, okay, um, I think the first thing I'd like to do is congratulate all of you uh, for the honor that your clubs have uh, presented you with to represent them in a leadership role. Um, it is quite an honor, um, and hopefully everyone has had a chance to look at the uh, club president, vice president ebook. Um, we're going to use that as a guide, but we're not going to go page for page through that. Um, how many of you are first year presidents or vice presidents? I am. Okay, thanks. Jay. I am as well. Okay. I am as well. <clears throat> yeah, I'm first year for the third time or fourth time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, great. Great. Okay. Um, if you're a president, um, you're the main leader, but the vice presidents, um, some clubs have a second vice president and a first vice president. Um, we're just going to cover for just a little bit. The vice presidents are a leadership role in the club, but they are also in a learning role. Um, spend as much time as you can with your club presidents to learn procedures and how your club operates with the board of directors and behind the scenes. Um, there is plenty of training um, information available like on uh, my LCI and my Lion. Um, the ebooks, um, it was mentioned earlier that the links in the ebooks are active. So, Adam, if you noticed in the chat room on the chat column, he I downloaded all the uh, new ebooks that do have the um, active links. So, you can um, actually go to those and contact, you know, connect with the different resources. Uh, there's a lot of self-study courses in there to help you um, progress through your term. Uh, um, Jim, Jim. Yes. I, I just shared my screen on the ebook. Can everybody okay. see that? Yes. 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 Okay. okay. Thank you. Um, so, Jim, you're saying all the links in the ebook that we are looking at right now are active? Uh, Jim, is this uh, this one yeah. might not be? No, yeah, this is. That this one's one, active. This yeah. one's this one's active. Okay, all right. So all the ones that Adam put in the uh, chat screen oh, were all active. Those ones all had active blanks. Correct. Correct. Adam, so, you, you know, in trying not to be redundant, but do you want to resend the link? Uh, I put it in the chat here. That way, that will be easier. I think. And I yeah, while believe, we're talking, I'll get it in the chat window. I believe Jody said she was going to send those out again after the meeting. Yes, she, mm -hmm. she is. Yeah, so Jody will send you a link on that. Um, okay. Um, the Again, the uh, vice president's job are to work with the president, um, attend as many uh, committee meetings as possible, familiarize yourself with all of the workings with the club. Um, the president's job is a little more detailed, but it's also very simple. Uh, the primary one is to uh, run the meetings. Uh, it's best to familiarize yourself with your club constitution and bylaws which will answer most of your questions on how the club operates. Um, the um, different, uh, I'll skip through the different officers. Um, club president is also, um, it's important that they promote leadership and development with the other club members. Um, 
like our retention, our speaker said on retention, you have to generate interest and keep new members interested. Um, keep an eye out for who is a good leader or good potential to be a leader in your club. Um, you need to um, set committees. Um, that's one area where you need to find a good person to lead your different committees. Um, you have to, again, preside at the meetings. Uh, it's important that you set an agenda. Um, our club, our secretary is very active in, he has a pretty much um, schedule of what is discussed at each of the meetings each month for every year and work with your secretary to um, set your agenda. Uh, it's also important to include the vice presidents in the, the agenda planning. Um, that helps them prepare for a more active role when they become presidents. Um, uh, you should be prepared to um, participate in zone meetings. Uh, that's an excellent chance to interact with the other clubs in your zone. Um, get good ideas on how, you, you know, different activities, different fundraisers, um, and how each of the clubs do interact. Um, the, um, president also has to um, be involved in getting the elections done. Um, the elections need to be done in the start of the fourth quarter of the fiscal year. Um, the elections should be held in April so that you can get the new officers entered into my LCI so that at the end of June, when the fiscal year ends, it's a smooth transition into the new, new, uh, new year. Um, one of the goals that the new president should have is to um, make a plan or an, uh, a goal for what you want the club to achieve for your year. Um, there's a, many initiatives uh, or resources that are available, uh, club quality initiative, uh, build a vision for your club. Those are all resources that are available through uh, both my line and my LCI. Um, uh, hey Jim, if I want to interject, I, I did, click on some of these uh, links and we could go through them if you, you want us to, but the club quality initiative or even the building a vision for your club, it's a, a good exercise to go through to make sure you are understanding what your club is about and what they plan on doing. Um, it's just a good exercise for your board of directors to go through. I mean, the president can lead the lead the process, but for the board of directors to kind of go through that, just take that as a as a new president. That is one of the review that and make sure that your vision your vision aligns with the club, and that the club's vision aligns with each other. Very good. Oh. Tim, are you are you talking about each one of these? You you click on the highlight and then it brings up yep. what they're so, talking about. Yeah, I can I can do one here quick, uh, Kathy, if you want. I'll click on this build a vision. Yes. All right. Now, give me a second here. I might have to with everybody low risk system resources. So I don't know if anybody can see. That's probably just a dark screen right now. Is no, I've got a white screen. Yeah. All right. Now give it a second. Using too much bandwidth, I should tell my wife to get off the movies upstairs. <laughs> Come on, open up. There you go. Okay. Can you can you guys see this? Now these are a lot of these documents are lines. They're from the Lions Club International. Mm -hmm. Um, and you just kind of page down through them, plan your club success. Um, and this particular document, I, I clicked on this earlier, this kind of talks about the global membership approach. Um, and if you kind of go through whether it was build a team, build a vision, build a plan, build a success, 
Um, good exercises to go through. Uh, we could click on them, but we could probably be here for five hours doing this. Right. So this might this must have been when we couldn't click on them because I tried clicking on this because I, I I downloaded everything but I couldn't click on it and it didn't come up but maybe yeah. because they rebooted it I'll be able to get in it yeah uh, the one, yeah the one that you downloaded before you probably can't um, like I say if you go to the top of the chat window uh, yeah. the links are there for the different manuals yep and. Those uh, Adam tried, and you can click on those to get the links. Yep. Super. Um, could I interject here a second on this uh, note? Sure. Um, this is in District Governor Elect Al. I've been told that the international website is is kind of finicky because of the changes they're trying to make and the things they don't have in place, and it is changing and it's getting better. So. Anytime you you have questions, make sure you ask, because then we can ask that of international and make that website a lot better. So with that in mind, sometimes it won't work. Just remember to go back into it and try it again. Don't give up on it. Just keep keep trying. That's my message. Sounds good. Okay. Thank you, District Governor Elect Al. Okay. Um, again, this um, this uh, guide to uh, build a, a vision is what the, the GMA team was talking about, and that's something that uh, we're going to be promoting through this upcoming year. So, uh, as the president, that's something that you need to. Um, it's recommended that you do to to rejuvenate your club, also. Um, Make sure that everybody has a login to um, my Lion and my LCI. Uh, that's a again another great resource. Um, how many of you have been on um, my Lion and seen um, the reports that are available on my Lion? No. Yep. No. I have not. Okay, uh, it's recommended that, that you do get set up. If you've got any questions, uh, Lion Bruce Voigt is the district administrator. He's uh, excellent when it comes to working with that stuff. He can answer any questions. Um, if you're an officer, it's very important that you get on there. To, and uh, as it was said earlier, um, if your club doesn't have a club administrator, it's recommended that you probably get one to number one, help the secretary and number two, to be able to um, help with the My Lion um, and My LCI for members. Uh, if you have somebody that's in technology, uh, that would be a great position for them. And hopefully that would lead them into, again, a leadership role for the club. So. The the my line and my LCI, there is, and Al, you can probably say this. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. They are going to do be be doing a training on my line and my LCI here in the near future. Yes, uh, and this is going to be recommended for club presidents for sure, um, and then. Vice presidents, I would suggest that you bring your vice presidents into it yep. and your secretaries. And membership chairs and administrators if you have one. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and as what Jim was saying about the club administrator, currently with the My Line and the My, My LCI, the club secretary is has the most access within my Lion and my LCI, um, you put him a, assigned an administrator to that. And as I learned last night, how to get into that, I am actually the administrator for our club. Um, I do have the, the same access as what the secretary does. The administrator is not necessarily a board position, but it can be. Yes. Again, that depends on your club bylaws. 
So I just wanted to say that I went to the state convention um, in Lake Geneva and I attended a training and I forget the guy's name. I, I, my booklet's down on my desk, um, but he was going, his training was really, really helpful. And he, you know, we, I asked for the PowerPoint and he was going to share it at some later point. Um, I don't, I don't know, Jim, if you're familiar with that or um, I can follow up with who that was, but I, I don't know what mechanism uh, they were going to use to share that PowerPoint. Yeah, I unfortunately I wasn't able to attend that, so I'm, I'm not aware of that, Sandy. Which which training did you attend? The one about uh, my LCI and my lion. Hold on. Do you got your book handy there, Al? But I, it's around here. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, my book. It was on. I can tell you, it was on Friday morning. Okay. And it Looking was. Looking at it here. It might have been the 11 o'clock hour. Hmm. I, I took some notes, but then, then I was oh, like, here oh. it is. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Bill Palzicki, something like yeah. that. Paliski, Paliski. Pal yeah, whatever um, you say. How do you spell yeah. that? How do you spell that, Al? P A L L A S K E. Bill, Bill is his first name. Okay. He was the presenter. And he was going to share that. Is there, um, you know, and I, maybe I, I might have put that in my notes. I thought, is, unless. If Did he, he say where share, he was going to share it to you? Well, now? I'm wondering if, if he would put it on the state website. I have no idea, but yeah. I, I, I can write a note and we can. You know, make sure that we uh, ask this. In fact, put it in the chat room and put it in there so that somebody knows uh, that you're asking. Okay. Uh, oh, you want me to put that? In yeah, the chat? put put it in the chat room because if you don't, why well, then we don't have record of it. Okay. But, uh, somebody somebody should follow up with that. Yeah. Al, would you spell his last name again? Uh, it's Bill P P A L L A S. K E. Okay, thanks. All right. Yep. Got it. All right. Thank you, Sandy. Mm, sure. Okay. Um, Tim's got on the screen there also, you know, some information on you know creating your logins and my LCI and my Lion. Um, again, it's a it's a great resource. You can also access the uh, tutorial uh, section in my LCI, which a lot of those training manuals are in there also. Um, Is there anybody here who does, does not have a my LCI account? I don't. I don't. Okay, I so this is, this is really important. Uh, make sure that you, go, you do go into that and create an account. You're going to be able to see everything about all of your members. It's really good information. Even if you want to call one of your members, you have a phone number. You can get all that off of there. Okay. Uh, uh, so it's uh, high, I highly recommend that's one of the first things you want to do is get that account going because um, it, it's a ton of information that you can use. As a president, you get access to just about everything. Matter of fact, I think you, if I'm not mistaken, you get access to everything. So you can put in your new officers, you can, um, you can, you can see what everybody's doing. Uh, it just, it gives you great access to the lines and, and you can see some other things that uh, I can't think of right now, but there's some, a lot of information. So please access that right away. Uh, point of information, one of the things, Tony, on that note of putting it in there and, and you can do my line, you can access yourself into my line in that now. But as a president, I think some of them some of that won't come in until after after July 1st. Right. Right. Just as a point of information, you might not be able to have access to everything until after July 1st right. as a president. Even if you're a president now, Al? Um, uh, no, you should be able to do it now. If, you, if you're a president now, yeah. you should be able to do it now. <laughs> All right. But, but, well, but you can... I got you can I got stepped into it. I was supposed to be first vice. So 
um, and our president had to step down. So two weeks before the first meeting, I ended up becoming president at uh, at the first meeting. So <laughs> I'm just still learning everything. I thought I had two years to learn it, but now I'm uh, I'm getting there. <laughs> Kathy, the, the interesting part about that is, is I'm in the same boat that you were when I was the first, first vice president. Yeah. I mean, it was going along, first vice president. I was going to hope, learn from, you know, and I, I watched for a few years, but all of a sudden, uh, the president, who was a very, very good friend of mine, calls me up one day, goes, hey, Tim, guess what? You get to be, uh, kind of take on my roles. <laughs> He goes, um, I'm going to be out of town for most of our meetings for the next at least six months. Wow. So, you know, you kind of, I kind of jumped right into it, but. Yeah. Uh, that stresses uh, the point on making sure that as president, you're including <clears throat> presidents in everything. So that makes that transition so much easier. Yeah. Um, Sandy, to answer your question, is she in here? Sandy Hall? Yeah. Okay, yeah, to answer your question, Jody will have that information for you. Great, thank you. Mm -hmm, no problem. And just so you guys know, you guys have the biggest room. You have the most <laughs> amount of people in this room than any other room, like right. double. So, <laughs> right. so you should also oh. be proud of yourselves. Yeah, yeah. We, we could tell the room was really, really big. Yeah, yeah. So, okay, um, moving on with the book, you know, you're, you're attending the uh, officer training, so that's a great step. Um, Monthly meetings, uh, again, the agendas, um, make sure that you set a good agenda. Um, our club, um, our meetings are always a dinner meeting and we try to have a speaker. Um, one, of, one of your roles as president is to appoint committees uh, to make it easier on yourself, I would, recommend that your club forms a uh, committee to look for speakers if you have speakers at your at your meetings um, again it's it's something that you should include the vice presidents in and the secretary the secretary is the basically the pivot point of the, of the club so um, the president also has to um, chair the board meetings. Um, the nuts and bolts of the, your club should be done at board meetings, not necessarily in your general membership meetings. Um, so that is something that you need to um, kind of also govern. Um, assigned committee meetings. Um, a lot of clubs have many, 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 many different committees. Um, that's something as a president you might want to look at and make res recommendations. If you have too many committees that aren't active, um, find out why are they needed or can they be combined into another committee and um, re regenerate some interest in them. Uh, get a good member to head the committees. Don't expect that you have to chair every committee. Um, the club vice presidents are recommended to attend as many committee meetings as possible. It's not uh, necessary that the president does, but if the president can, that's a plus also. Um, zone meetings, um, those are recommended for the presidents, vice presidents, secretaries, um, any club member to attend a zone meeting. Again, it's a good chance to interact with other clubs in your immediate area and exchange ideas. And it's also a way for the zone chairs to communicate what's happening on the district level in, uh, through LCI, WLF, and all the other uh, committees. Um, annual meetings, um, again, make sure that you have your club elections in the early fourth quarter. Um, constitution, read the Constitution by, and bylaws. Um, I know our Constitution, and I'm not sure 
Tim or Lion Tim or Lion Tony, if it's a LCI. Um, yeah, LCI has a standard constitution and bylaws that you can download and then put in your own information. Yeah. Uh, a matter of fact, I just got done doing that for our club. Uh, yeah. We hadn't updated ours and really should you should you should visit this annually as a club. Uh, yeah. We hadn't done ours since 2012. So it had been 10 years. So a lot of things change, little legalities. That's what there's a lot of things that that LCI does for us so that it's in there to keep us quote unquote legal. Um, right. So I highly recommend downloading that and uh, just adding your own stuff, just change, you know, put in your club name and things like that. Uh, yeah. The idea on that is um, you need to, and it, it's actually in the, the, the constitution and bylaws, but in order, you have to approve it at the board level, and then it has to be presented to your club, and they have to have at least 15 days to look at it before you vote on it. So just keep that in mind. And then the club, the whole entire club has to vote on, on, the, on the new constitution. Uh, I have a new point of information for everyone here, especially you as presidents, at looking at this. Uh, I was just informed of this in my training this year that the the board, the International Board of Directors changes policies on a regular basis when they have their meetings. And this is also found at the, at the bottom end of this, there's, there's policies and stuff that change on a regular basis. That's one of the reasons why you wanna take a look at this, especially as club presidents and make sure that you're following everything that the board at the international level is trying to tell us. And the greatest thing about it, again, is it's, it's, it's just a simple matter of changing a few things. Uh, you get a couple of people in your club, one or two, I recommend never more than that, that can go through this and just make the, make the adjustments and the updates and you're done. It really is a, an easy thing to do. We just yeah. got to remember to do it. Yeah. One of the things that I will suggest on your standard club constitution and bylaws is um, try not to make it so detailed that it has to be changed every year kind of make it broad you know don't necessarily have to put in names of people in your constitution and bylaws put mm -hmm. in positions um you know the chairman of this committee is in charge of this we don't have to necessarily put a name in there um <clears throat> Oh, when I said names, I meant club name. Yeah, club names. But mm -hmm. when you're when you're making your constitution, Cuba City is going through this right now. We're starting to review our constitution, and a lot of it was written many 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 moons ago. And there's a lot of things in there that just really don't pertain to what we do anymore. And technically, our one of our rules in there is that you have to have a two-thirds majority vote to change the constitution well i can't think of the last time we had two-thirds of our club at a meeting so uh, just kind of make you know follow the rule follow the constitution and bylaws that is from the international but yeah put in your own club stuff informa information um but make it short and sweet and Try not to tire it much. Thank you, Lion Tim. Okay. Uh, any other questions on the Constitution or bylaws? Okay. Um, moving on, uh, district convention and multiple district conventions. Um, um, Trudy just raised her hand. Oh, I'm sorry. I just have a question about um, if it, the club requires all members to vote. If they don't come to the meetings, you can still do the vote or you have to get everybody to vote. You, you need at least three quarters of your club to vote. So it doesn't have to be at the meeting. You can do it by via a phone call. You can do it online. There's lots of different uh, ways that you can, you can do it. Um, so let's just say you have 100 members, 75 of them need to vote. Right. Okay, thank you. Rudy, what are you asking in voting for what, though? Well, he, he made a comment in the 
um, training that you you would have to have the entire club to vote on a certain subject or committee or whatever it is that you're voting on? No, and, uh, no only on the Constitution, Trudy. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Now, oh, okay. Here's the question now. Once you establish quorum, the vote is at 75% of the members present at Correct. that meeting. So that means not everybody in the club. Though. It's Correct. the people in the club that have come and maintain quorum. Those people, 75%, they need to vote in order to change the bylaws. Okay. Thank you. Jim? Yes. Jim? Yes. This is Mary Pat. I thought I had just heard that they needed two thirds. Now all of a sudden I'm hearing three fourths. Oh, I, just, I just threw that number out there. I'm not sure exactly what it is. I just threw a number out. It was, it could be two thirds. Okay. Two thirds would be a super majority. So of the members present or the members of the club? Members present. It depends on what you're voting on, but yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. Good. <laughs> If you have a question on that, go to the Constitution and Bylaws. It'll tell you. It'll tell us. Okay. Yeah, it's actually all in there. Yeah. 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 Thank you. And Roberts has just rewritten some of the stuff too. So, yeah, not Roberts, but uh, the Association of uh, Parliamentarians. Yeah, uh, yeah. That is actually we kind of brushed over that earlier. There is that. There's should be a link in here to the Roberts Rules of Borders. That is. Yes. A very good thing for the club presidents and vice presidents to just kind of take a look at and review that is a good great tool to use as you go through and are managing your meetings yes yep okay okay any other questions on the constitution or bylaws okay uh, jim just oh. a, a comment um uh, one of the problems our club has had is just getting people to be a uh, president or, or vice president. And uh, the reason why, for instance, our, our first vice president, I think is going to be on the Saturday session, training session. Uh, she is really only interested in the club. She has very little interest in anything that goes on besides beyond the club, you know, so zone meetings, region meetings, state conventions, district conventions. Um, and, and I guess um, I get a little concerned that we, we sometimes put so many requirements out there that people think, my God, I can't do this job. Because there's, you know, you're supposed to go to these zone meetings, you're supposed to, um, you know, review the constitution and bylaws, all of these kinds of things. Uh, that kind of thing doesn't bother me very much. But for uh, somebody new coming into uh, the first vice president job, for instance, I think it can scare the bejesus out of them. Mm -hmm. um, so so I, th I think that's a really good point, Rick. And uh, it's, uh, it's one of them things that uh, I, I totally agree with you that there's just an awful lot here. Yeah. Um, and, but as, as presidents, um, have a good time. I yeah. mean, that's really what it's about, you know, uh, uh, you know, try, try to, you know, be, I mean, we, we, we present all of these things um, so that you have access to the information that you might need. And that's why, that's why uh, uh, that we're doing this. And, um, but if you, if there's certain things like, 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 for instance, a really good example, like Rick just mentioned was, the constitution and bylaws. Well, you know what? You don't get to it. it. The world's not coming to an end tomorrow. I wouldn't worry too much about it. It's but somebody in the club might say, "Hey, what does the constitution and bylaws say?" Well, you know where to go find that. So we'll call you. Yeah. Oh, yeah, well, that's it. That's exactly it. And I can't stress that enough. Call me. Call me. Call call your zone chair. Call uh, Adam. Call any of us. We can. We'll come to your club if you want. We'll do anything you want. We're easy. Yeah. So. Uh, another point of interest on that would be also that is as an executive officer, you have the ability to appoint somebody to do it for you. You yes. don't have to necessarily do it yourself. So if if it comes to that, 
appoint somebody in the club to just ask them, go and review whatever you need to see. Yeah, yeah. Uh, thank you. Um, thank you, Lion Rick. Um, that was a good point. The thing to remember about being a president or a vice president, it's your club. Um, Lions Club International gives you guidelines, makes recommendations, and gives you some support in many different ways. But each club is different. Each club has its own personality, its own functions, and its own focus. So keep it, keep the meetings fun, keep the meetings short, and Hopefully you have a good tail twister that can help keep people in line and make the meeting help meetings be light and jovial also. So you use your secretary uh, the best you can. Um, you know, if you have a new one, learn with them. Uh, yep. But lean, lean on lean on the other people in your in your in your board because they're there to help. You don't have to do it all alone. This is not uh, a dictatorship, right? You've got a whole bunch of people that can help you and use them because they want to help. Yeah. Are there training materials available tonight or otherwise on the art of delegation? <laughs> the art of delegation. I wish I could put that in a box. <laughs> <laughs> the biggest thing. The that, hardest thing in the world, isn't it? Yeah. Um, it's, it's called the index finger. Yeah. I think the biggest thing is people are willing to do something, but they have to be asked. Mm -hmm. As a leader, yeah. you go to somebody and say, Lion Tim, I really need you to do this. Would you be willing to chair this committee? And I think 90% of the time, the people will say yes. And if they say no, that's fine. But uh, a lot of lions are there and really want to do as much as they can, but they don't want to volunteer. But if they're asked, they will do it. So as a president and you need somebody to do something, your job is to find the best person possible in your club and ask them if they would step forward and do that. Just to kind of go a little, extend on what Jim is saying is, it's not necessarily your responsibility to find somebody. Utilize your board of directors. Yeah. Utilize your team that you are, that the club has voted in to help find them people. I, I'm gonna use Cuba City as an example. We have just in the last two months, two or yeah, two months, we have, I think nine new members and the majority of them are under the age of 30. Awesome. Great. Um, <clears throat> big thing that we're finding with that is we just have to ask them, yep. hey, ask to help. If you ask, if somebody brings up a topic and they, they're, you feel like they are passionate about it, you know, one of the tools at the end of the discussion is if you want to develop a committee, the person that's bringing that topic up and saying, hey, you know, John, you are really excited about this potential new project. You know, would you help us chair that? Um, you got to be careful on always delegating that to that person because that might scare people from bringing new topics up but <laughs> um you, you'll you'll get the feel and you utilize your board utilize your people and the other thing big thing for a president the one of the biggest things that i found was you've got to learn to say no not everything is your responsibility and we're you're not there to do everything. You're there to help delegate and lead the people to that process. Yeah. So I ask one more time, is there any training on delegation here? <laughs> uh, training on delegation. I Tony? <laughs> <laughs> um, um, well, we could certainly put something together for that. Um, it's, it's one of those things that looks great on paper. Uh, and uh, it makes like what everything that Tim was just talking about uh, makes total sense. But I can, you know, be honest with you in, in, in our club, we've got a lot of idea people. And I yeah. think uh, we've all got that. Oh, you know what we should do? 
and they've got this great plan and it's a really good idea, but they don't want to make it happen. They want somebody else mm -hmm. to make it happen. And that's, that's where we become difficult. And uh, so uh, like uh, Tim said that we should um, uh, pick and choose what we do. It's okay to say no, try to reduce the amount of things that you're doing and get people involved and do things that are making people excited. And that usually will get people to volunteer to run things. For instance, I don't want to run Stuff the Bus. That's not my thing, okay? <laughs> so if somebody asks me to run Stuff the Bus, I might go, yeah. But boy golly, I sure love to go clean up at the park and I'll run that. Sure, I'd be great. So you just kind of try to find the people that that's something that they're passionate about. We all have members of our club that come to the meetings, but they don't help with anything. And, and that's okay. But you've got to remember that if they're idea people, that it's, again, going back to what Tim said, it's okay to say no and, and reduce what you're doing. But I could probably try to put together some kind of a uh, how to delegate meeting. You know who's really, really good at that is uh, Tara Vraniak. Uh, she's really good at uh, delegating and um, <laughs> maybe I'll talk to her and maybe we can put something together. And you know, of course, Jody is great at it. You know, Jody Burmeister, she's more than, she'll get you to do just about anything, you know? So, uh, so maybe we can put something together and try to find out what her secret is. Tony, I'll stop interrupting on this particular point, but I think there's two sides to that. One is the asking people to do things. And I agree, commonly you will get a yes answer if you only ask. Uh, but the other side of that is the individual uh, and all of our clubs have them who want to be in everything, doing everything. The first people, if you have a two slots for open for somebody to sign up. They'll be the very first ones there. Both slots are taken. New members can't get on those, uh, those slots. And uh, I think the problem is that some of us older people are so energetic and enthused, and that's a good thing, but we forget that delegation is an element of training of the, of the younger or the newer members. Uh, it's an element of getting things done that otherwise you reach capacity and can no longer do uh, the things. We talked about overwhelming the vice presidents and presidents here. Part of that is if they were good delegators and understand, understood the, the, the strength of organizational building through delegation, then perhaps they would be less overwhelmed. And I will stop commenting on it. No, I, I think that's good. I, I think that uh, I would use a different word besides delegation. Um, I would I would use the word involvement is getting those young people involved right away. Is that kind of where you're going with it? That the older people are kind of, or other people are taking things and not allowing for the younger people, the new members, when I say younger, the new members to get involved with something. Is that where you're some going with the, that? I, some of the, the established members tend to own the project, let's put it yes, that way. Like, and, and don't um, want anybody else to get their fingers into it. And right. therefore new members are uh, brushed off. So uh, that, that let, me, let me roll that around because I, I, we've had that problem in our club when we had somebody who did one of our projects and that was his project and that was all there was to it and he wasn't gonna let anybody else in. Well, then he left the club, right? And then you've got a problem. Uh, and you've got other people that want to do it differently, but John's do, John's does that project and that's the way we're going to do it because John's in charge and we've got some people that have really really good ideas that could make it even better but we don't do it because John's in charge of that product mm -hmm. so let me see if I can't uh, think of some kind of way of bringing that up to clubs and and in a nice way reminding people that we're all doing this together and we need the new ideas we need the fresh ideas and uh, the 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 worst words in the world are you know, we tried that and it didn't work. Yes. We tried it in yeah. 1978. Okay. It's different now. We, <laughs> maybe we try again, or maybe we just did a bad job in 1978. So uh, 
And that, yeah. not a bad idea. Say, hey, Tony. Thank you for bringing that up. Yes. What we did in Cross Plains was I had a new member that he just wanted to jump in. And so I, and the, the gentleman that was his sponsor thought he really shouldn't. So what we did was we co-chaired him with Alliance member that had been there for a while that knows the route and stuff like that. So Bob and him worked together as co-chairman of this. I can't even remember what we did. So, I mean, that's one way to get the newer people involved. If they don't want to chair it, if they want to co-chair it, um, mm -hmm. to get them involved and see what that, you know, ask them. We're doing a, we're getting a survey hopefully together and we get it done so that we can do it for June, but I think it's not going to work. But um, to ask all our members what their interests are and what they like to do or what do they want to get out of being a lion. Um, and maybe like I'm a seamstress. So maybe we have a carpenter. We have, we do um, ramps and we have a great committee of seven people that make ramps for the handicap in town here and, and other, um, they actually helped myself when my husband was, uh, um, laid up and ill and, and uh, I needed a ramp. So, you know, it's, it's, it's getting the, the newer people involved, but not throwing them into the lion's den as here, you run this, you know, and, and, and like I had uh, my first meeting, I had Adam there, I had Frank um, and everyone kind of helped me for the first three meetings on, you know, doing the agenda and stuff like that. So I've been in the Lions for over 15 years, but to just be jumped in and going here, run the meeting, <laughs> you know? So, but through the years, I listened to what people were saying when I was sitting there and, and one of our newer members said, oh gosh, I hope this meeting doesn't last long. So I set a goal for my year that we have a social for a half an hour, we have a dinner for a half an hour, and at seven o'clock I ring the bell and I try and keep the meeting to an hour. And if we have a speaker, it does go over a little bit, but but by eight o'clock, we're adjourning. So I think I missed it once. On, this, uh, uh, if I may interject here on this uh, subject of thought, I think conflict resolution is one of the things that's in the Lions Learning Center, and this would fall somewhat underneath that privy, and I think that would be an advantage to any anybody that's in leadership to take on that that learning part of the learning center and go through that course. There's an actual course on on conflict conflict resolution, yes. so that would that would be a big help, I think, to a lot of these problems. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, right. Would that Jimmy be something that like, I... our membership committee would do? Uh, you know, we... Certainly, certainly that could, you could put it there. Yeah. Anything like that. But as leaders, you need to do it. So you know what, what they're doing. Right. right. They bring it back to you. So. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sorry uh, that I, I started chatting up there. Sorry, guys. Uh, go well, ahead and continue yeah. on. No, that's good, Tony. Um, we are going into the hour. Um, we we're going to try to be done by eight o'clock. Um, I, I think the biggest thing I want to pass on to, you know, the vice presidents and presidents, again, remember it is your club. Use the resources that are available. Uh, like Kathy said, make the meetings fairly short, make them fun. Um, delegate a lot of responsibilities and um, try to find new leaders within your club, um, both for club leadership and as Lion, as uh, District Governor elect Al would say, we also need leaders in the district if there are some up and comers that you think would be a good addition to help not just your club, but all the clubs in the district. Um, 
Lion, Tim, did you have anything that you would want to add in the wrap up? Uh, yeah, just a couple couple uh, additions I'll just put in there is um, <clears throat> focus on, I guess one of the focuses is on new members, make sure you include them. Um, you know, I, I'm trying to think of the guy that's, who gave the presentation before, he was talking about the mentorship, you know, appoint men mentors to them. I remember when I came into the, our club here, I didn't necessarily have a mentor. Actually, the gentleman that got me to join, I think that's the last meeting that he was at was the one that I was initiated in. Mm -hmm. um, but I had a couple other members of the club that kind of, you know, took me, took me by hand and just kind of guided me through some stuff. Include your new members. Don't necessarily just get members in, just get the numbers. Make sure you are learning what their strengths are um, and getting them involved. I do have a question. Sure. Um, okay. I wanted to give, I wanted to look, to, where do I find, um, like last year I, I got a pin from um, our, pres, our past president. Um, where do I find that stuff to um, give as gifts for a couple oh. of my members. It's, uh, we, go ahead. I think it, you can get that on, on my lion or my LCI in the lion store. There's a lot of things in there that. Okay. Yeah. All right. Is that correct, Tony? Yeah. yeah, that's exactly it. So once you get your, your account, you'll be able to access all of that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And, <laughs> And Kathy, also your secretary should have a lot of access to that too. So, okay, yeah. sounds good. I I don't know if this is just because we were a new club, but um, Tammy Rockenbach brought all that stuff when we had our we had a our first official Lions Club meeting. So I always thought it was just from Tammy Rockenbach. But now, <laughs> now I well, know. I, just do that. Just contact Tammy and say, <laughs> hey, can I get some of this stuff? Um, some things you'll get automatically from LCI, um, yeah. or you'll get them at, at a zone meeting. Another good reason to go to a zone meeting, because as the stuff comes down from LCI, it goes to the zone chairs, and then when they have the zone meetings, they they hand out packets to all of the clubs. So it's right. good that somebody from your club always goes to a zone meeting or a regional meeting to get those packets. These yeah. zone meetings, who's supposed to be cut? Because I never got any information on zone meetings. Is that? I'll, I'll smack Adam up. He's getting the side of the head. <laughs> your, zone... <laughs> <laughs> your zone chair is supposed to set up. Um, the way I understand, uh, it's two meetings a year with the zone. One in the fall, and you know, after, um, after the clubs get rejuvenated, and after the the uh, summer break and then one early uh, early in the uh, calendar year. Okay, so Tim is our zone chair. Kathy, which club are you in? Cross Plains. I'm not your zone chair. <laughs> is there uh, a space for all that? Like the zone meetings and is there like, or is that on my LCI? Well, I mean, again, it's up to the zone chair to set up the meetings, but your zone chairman is on uh, my lion. If you go to your club there on my lion, it'll tell you who your zone chair is. Actually, if you're you're if you're in the twenty seven D one Lions website, um, you can click on the zones, and they have all the the zone chairs on that listed. Also, I usually yeah. just call Adam. <laughs> yeah. Or, yeah, or else just call Adam. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, like, but I think the only they'll, 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 there'll be a zone meeting shortly after the cabinet meeting in July. Right. Um, and then there'll be a regional meeting in the fall. Then there'll be another zone meeting in like January. January, February. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, so they okay. try to have yeah, each, each, uh, each zone or zones got, or districts got, not district, zones got, two zone chairs so i will have one with just my immediate zone clubs um which i think there's eight of them now true you're actually in my zone um 
and then we will join with the other um, zone. But Tony, I think this this last year we did it with two district, two regions, didn't we? Yeah, a lot, a lot of, a lot of uh, the, the the clubs do their zone meetings um, uh, jointly. It just sometimes it's just easier to do that. And then the region meetings are are obviously the region. What uh, what region and zone are you in, Kathy? They're what do you mean? Cross Plains. Cross Plains. Cross Plains. <laughs> They're in region two, zone one. Uh, Bill Brian McKay is her zone chair. At least uh, was last year. Will not be this next year. Will not year. be next year. Okay. Kathy Valavino or Becky Valavino will be Becky, the zone chair. Becky Becky Valavino. Will be your zone chair, Kathy. All righty, thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, any other comments or questions? Um, I just uh, Kathy made made a point. Um, we have six regions in our district, and each region has two zones. That's so, what I was trying to think of, Tony. Yeah. Um, so, um, if if you're not sure what region or zone you're in, please just ask, and we'll hook you up. We'll let you know. Um, we also have a map that has everybody on there and it's got pictures with your uh, your club and what region is on your end. So uh, that right. way, you know. All right, super. So there's a lot of resources to help your club on, on the websites. Um, again, it's, it's your club, make it fun and keep people happy. And I hope you all have a good year. And when you have a question, ask somebody. Correct. Doesn't matter who. Yep. <laughs> Just ask. Yep. We Resources expect are always there. So we want you to ask. Yes. Uh, yep. I, I put my uh, my phone number and my email address in the chat there. Uh, I always recommend to people that if you've never contacted me before, text me first before you try calling me, so that I know who you are. I get a million <laughs> phone calls a day. So, um, but honestly, with Please, if there's anything at all that you want, please just contact us. Have any one of us. Um, what is our what is our, our email there, Al? Is it exec team? Uh, well, you can do uh, exec team. Let's see. Uh, exec team is exec team, exec team at lines 27 d oneorg So if you send an email to exec team, at I'm going to put this in the in the chat at uh, Alliance 27 E1 dot. Oh, we're going to break in uh, yep. four seconds. <laughs> it, 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 it's.